Thanks for joining us today. Now, what you're about to see is an episode of my new talk show called Your World. Now, I really think you're going to enjoy today's guest as they bring us a message of grace and hope. Now, at the end of the show, we'll give you an opportunity to tell us if you like what you saw. I want you to stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Watch this. I was dead, and my dead, when I was dead, my spirit, my spirit went to heaven. And just seeing her lie in that bed, lifeless, all you felt was anything other than God. Mm. And that's a horrible feeling. Jesus. But if you refuse to agree with death, mm -hmm. and agree with what grace has yes. made available, then I'm going to speak life. She will live and not die. No, we ain't having no funeral. No, we're going to praise God and we're going to rejoice. So I know what you're saying. Is, I know what you're saying is true. Every once in a while, something happens that we cannot explain. Something that defies our natural logic and understanding. Something that can only be described with one word, miracle. I'm going to share with you the story of a modern day miracle. It's a story of life winning over death. And it's a story of faith at a time when everything else seemed lost. Listen, maybe you're here today because you need some encouragement, or maybe you're watching because you want to believe in something again. It's not an accident that you're watching. Whatever the reason, you're going to get exactly what you're looking for. And so, so much more right here, right now on Your World. You'll meet Carla and Jawan, one of her sisters, in just a moment. But right now, I want you to hear her story as told by her older sister, Kimberly. About four years ago, my oldest living sister, uh, she lived in Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, she was ordered to go and take an MRI. And while taking the MRI, she actually flatlined on the table. She died. And the worst thing about it is that they did nothing to resuscitate her, no CPR, nor anything, just watched her die. And about 30, 45 minutes later, the ambulance came. And when they came, um, they had no vital signs. And when she arrived at the hospital, she arrived DOA. And during that time, the doctors were getting ready to sign off on the, de the, the uh, death certificate. And a friend, God, an angel through a friend, uh, said, hold on, wait a minute. Don't sign it quite yet. I don't want her mother to come from Georgia to Las Vegas to identify her in the morgue. So, okay, they prepped the body, put her on the machine, and yes, we received a call here in Georgia. And the call was, hey, I have your daughter, I have your sister. She has four hours before she's gonna die again. And by law, we're not gonna be able to resuscitate her. So whatever you need to do, you need to get here now. <laughs> Basically, she was, all, well, she was already gone. We have all the documents that shows D-O-A. <laughs> she had no vital signs, all excess. And when we got there, the Holy Spirit gave instruction. Pastor Dollar always talk about the Holy Spirit and being led of the Holy Spirit and to listen to him because at all times, he's talking to us. 
And he said, well, this is what I want you to do when you get there. I want you to take your radio. And I want you to play the word of God. I want you to play all the Old Testament, um, old and new of the Bible. And I want you to be able to, to play praise and worship songs and songs that give life. And then I want you to go in the room and walk around the room singing nothing but praise and giving me honor and glory. These were the instructions of the Holy Spirit. And when we got there, many of the, you know, all the nurses and the doctors, they just looked at us very strangely. But we were all obeying God. God because we were leaving for a breakthrough. So to make a very long story short, I'm here to tell you that my sister was in a coma for more than eight months. The doctors, our family went through so much, it was then that I found out that you gotta fight to get somebody to live. I never knew that. You know, you would think that somebody's fighting for life, someone's gonna come and encourage you and say, let's do this. But it was, hey, she has no BP, please pull the plug. It was, ma'am, can't you see? She's a vegetable right now. Please pull the plug. They said, you're going to have to take care of her for the rest of her life. She's going to be a vegetable. Pull the plug. She'll never know her family. She'll never be able to speak. She'll never be able to walk. She'll never be able to feed her herself. She has three children, and she won't even know who they are. But I just want to let you know, we obeyed God, and one day she woke up out of a coma, and I just want to show you what a miracle looked like. Carla, where are you? Carla, Carla, I want just, just, just walk because I, I want people to see what a miracle looked like when the doctor said that she was dead and would never walk on her own. Said she'll never know me. Said she'll never know my name. Her mother is standing right there. Mama, where are you? They said she'll never know her mama. I'm telling you the prayers of the saints from this church, intercessory prayer from this church, praise and worship and honoring God in this church brought a miracle. So thank you, Dr. Dollar. I, I just want to ask, Carla, come here. Just for, can, I, can I do that, Pastor? I just want to ask, what's my name? Who, who am I? Kimberly Dornette, Dornette Jackson. And who am I? My sister. Hallelujah. <laughs> Please welcome Carla and her sister Joanne to today's show. Ladies, I want to welcome you to, to today's show. It's called Your World, and you're getting ready to take us into your world. And miracles are possible. Man. I had a man say to me one time, he says, well, Brother Dollar, I don't believe in miracles. Mm -hmm. My friend responded, you will when you need one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Do you want to tell us the most important lesson that your family learned throughout this entire ordeal? Sticking together. We have a very big family. My parents, is 10 of us. And my mom is such a strong woman that loves God. And I believe God loved my mother so much and the woman of God that she has been to him. She lo he loved her enough to where he blessed Carla to come back. He blessed her not to die, just to let her know that I love you. And I believe this whole thing happened to bring my family together the devil comes to destroy families. He don't want families to be together. And even in the hospital when the doctors was telling us, she's dead, pull the plug. My mother faith was weak because she's listening to what doctors saying. And whether you know it or not, the family started debating where we gonna have a funeral. We gonna have it in Vegas? Or are we gonna have it in Atlanta? And then other family members were saying, no, 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 no. But when I tell you, regardless of what those doctors said, those tests said, when we all, the family, got on one accord, trusted and believed in God's word, because he had already sent the word. All right, now you preaching. About to, you, about to make me, you about to make me get up out this seat now. Ooh. 
<laughs> because in, isn't what you, you're talking about this grace of God? Oh, yes. This unmerited, unearned, mm. oh, undeserved yes. favor yes. where God's love showed up mm -hmm. and did mm -hmm. something that mm -hmm. nobody deserved, mm -hmm. but he did it anyhow. So I want to make sure our audience understands. Carla was in a situation hmm. where she was in a coma, right? Mm -hmm. And the doctor had given up on her. Tell us about that. Carla had went to have just a normal procedure, an MRI, and she had an allergic reaction at the doctor's office and literally died on the table. Mm -hmm. We lived in Vegas, so the hospital called my mother and told us we need to get there immediately. They didn't even think she would last until the night. So we immediately got there. It was my first time ever even feeling the spirit of death. Mm -hmm. Wicked, cold, no, it's literally like a vacancy. It's nothing. And just seeing her lie in that bed, lifeless. All you felt was anything other than God. Mm -hmm. And that's a horrible feeling. Yeah. Jesus. But something happened it's literally like God was preparing us. We was getting little signs before this even happened. Yeah. He prepared us. Yeah. Before that happened that week, my parents went to church and my father, strong man, never seen him cry a day in my life. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden he start to weep and cry in the middle of service. Mm -hmm. So the pastor told everyone to stand up and point their hands at him and say, live. Live just in the midst of a service. My father, this strong man that raised 10 children, yeah. provided for 10 children yeah. all our lives, is weeping, crying. Mm -hmm. And the pastor stood up and said, Live. He told everybody in the congregation to stand up and point towards my father and say, Live. Just wow. live. So when I saw Carla in the hospital, God brought to my memory what he had said to do. Mm -hmm. I say, This was for us to stand on God's word, to believe what he told us to do. Mama, them doctors don't know what they're talking about. Daddy, them nurses don't know what they're talking about. God says she's going to live. Yeah. So yeah. when we saw her there lifeless, seeing these doctors telling you she's dead, she'll never know her children, her three boys that she carried nine months and had. She'll never know her mother, her family. She's a vegetable. So when you have these doctors that have gone to school for years, know their history, their experience, it's kind of easy to believe what they say mm -hmm. versus what God then say. But God. But. <laughs> but she, God. She gonna, she gonna, but she God. Gonna, she gonna start something up in here now. But God. She gonna start something in here now. But God. Because nothing, nothing ever, nothing ever happens without God preparing it ahead of time. He called our end at the beginning. He doesn't wait to the end to call it. He called it before it happened. And if I understand what you're saying, he said live before death showed up. So that when death showed up, live was already there. Oh boy, I see you. I see you. Well, Carla, this is your experience. Yes. I remember when I first heard this testimony, and uh, I had no idea you were in, in the audience and what we saw at the dome, and when you came down, the church just, just <laughs> exploded. What do you remember happening? And, and, and I've got to ask this next question. I, I want to know, first of all, what, what is it that you remember that happened? And um, when you passed on that table, were, were, was it some things that, that you can recall happened before you came back in your body? Yes, sir. What I can't remember is I was dead, and my dead, when I was dead, my spirit, my spirit went to heaven. Mm -hmm. And I seen God, Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, and I seen people burning in hell with fire and brimstone, just screaming from the top of their lungs. They, they could fire and brimstone, screaming from the top of their lungs. And God told me to tell the world that He's coming back real soon for a church saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and water baptized. Mm -hmm. And it happened to me when the Lord told me to tell the world, I tell the world everywhere I go. 
I might go to a grocery store, see people at the grocery store, stop them, ask them do they want, do they mind me telling them my miracle, mm -hmm. and I share it. Mm -hmm. And I ask others to share my miracle along the way, because mm -hmm. God is real, and, yes. and I died, mm -hmm. and he's coming back. Mm -hmm. He's coming back real soon. That is it. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Um, a miracle is a divine interruption mm -hmm. of a natural event. So something natural takes mm -hmm. place. When a miracle takes place, it's God interrupts. His divine interrupts mm -hmm. that thing. Right. And what a word. And I, I believe it's happening all over uh, the world. God is warning people mm -hmm. and letting people know his return is sooner than we expect. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And sooner than we know. Yes, sir. And I mean, what more does he have to do to first of all, take a, a fired up, anointed family like yours who will help you tell this testimony, yeah. <laughs> okay? You know, you, you gotta sit and wonder. You're, you sit there, you see your relative lifeless. You start talking about the funeral reservations and how you're gonna begin to do all that. Yes, sir. And here you are, <laughs> seated on this couch. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, so the enemy said, if I can get you to fear death, huh. speak death, <laughs> agree with death, then I can bring it to pass. Mm -hmm. But if you refuse to agree with death mm -hmm. and agree with what grace has made yes. available, then I'm going to speak life. Yes. She will live and not die. Yes. No, we ain't having no funeral. Right. No, we're going to praise God and we're going to rejoice. So I know what you're saying. Is, I know what you're saying is true. People have a problem with miracles sometimes because they've never experienced them before. But I believe with all my heart, we're going to see an increase of the miracle working power in these last days like you have never seen before. Now, maybe you are a skeptic. Maybe you somewhat doubt this. Maybe you can't figure out how it happened. Listen, when you need a miracle and it happens, you don't care how it happens. Right. You're just glad and right. thankful that it happened. Amen. And let me tell you right now, there may come a time in your life where you need the resurrection power Hallelujah. and the miracle working mm. power to, to show up in your life. Just always have your faith out there. Amen. Always believe that yes, with Lord. God, nothing shall be impossible. Amen. Always believe that no matter how bad it may look, right. I am not going to take my eyes off on God. Oh, I'm not going to consider the problem more than I do mm -hmm. the promise. I'm going to consider the promise. Hallelujah. I'm going to open my mouth speak and I'm going to speak what I believe. Yeah. And then we're Amen. two or three or five Lord. or ten. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. When, Hallelujah. when they come together in agreement, mm -hmm. It shall be done yes, unto them. Lord. And Hallelujah. right here today on your world, Hallelujah. we see a miracle. Hallelujah. 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 A miracle. Hallelujah. Uh, in your life, there was a time where you, you struggled with drugs. Oh, yeah. And after this whole experience was over with, there was, the, the taste for it was gone. Gone. Nope. I mean, you didn't go to a detox clinic. No. You didn't go see a drug counselor? No, sir. You saw Jesus and he cleansed you, cleansed yeah. you in that one day? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's powerful. It is. Yeah. But Carla was in a coma for months. Okay. And she was without oxygen for 33 minutes, just, yeah. you know, for those that don't know. That's wow. how amazing God is. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, that's a lot, that, that, that type of neuro damage to be oh, without that's amazing. oxygen. Yeah, I mean, two, know, two or three minutes, oh, some people are glory. gone at that point. But God. Yeah. So, Yes, and, and when she came out of it, when she came out of it, they say she put the tubes out of her and said, I want some chicken. She wants some, <laughs> she wants some chicken. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I guess she wanted some chicken from churches. Yes. <laughs> some chicken. <laughs> and it, it, it's, it's, been, it's been progress, you know. It's, 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 it's still a progress, sure. you know. But it's beautiful. I really believe with all my heart that this was for 
my family to come together yeah. for a healing. And even to the day, God's still healing yeah. the Jackson family. Yeah. God's still delivering us. Yes, Lord. God gonna work it out. He yeah. has us. He loves all of us, not just the Jackson family, every last right. one of us. Right. You on a TV, God loves you. God loves your family. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let no argument break you up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let no fight destroy you. Yeah. The devil is the father of lies. Yeah. And he tell you things yeah. that are not true. Yeah. But I just believe God that he did this to keep my family together. Yeah. And well, I love him for that. I, I don't think people understand 33 <laughs> minutes yeah. without yeah. oxygen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And for you to be able to articulate mm -hmm. <laughs> what you just articulated, yeah. mm -hmm. that's a miracle of God. That's Amen. a miracle of God. That's a miracle of God. <laughs> I want you to look on the inside of your heart and ask yourself, am I ready to repent of all my sins? Am I ready to make Jesus the Lord and personal Savior of my life? You know, I believe you can do that today, and I believe this program is for you today, that you don't have to live the rest of your life wondering where you're gonna, gonna spend eternity in heaven or in hell that when you repent of your sin and, and invite Jesus to come in, you can have the assurance that to be absent from the body yes. is to be present with the Lord. Yes. The message is a simple message. Prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. There is a Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. There is a Jesus. There is a mm -hmm. Satan. Yes, Lord. There is a heaven. There is a hell. Yes, yes, Lord. And today, you can make sure that when your time comes, mm -hmm. yes. You repent of your sins, make Jesus Lord of your life, yes. that you can have him for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. absent from your body, present with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, even with all the evidence and what all evidence tells us that we can't be healed, that our pain will never end, they say, that death is waiting, there is still life. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to uh, have the final say, only God does. And when we offer ourselves to him in faith, like Carla and Kimberly and Jawan, we get to experience the power of miracles uh -huh. here on this earth. Yes. I don't know what you're facing today, but I do know we serve a God yes. for whom nothing is impossible. Oh my. Yes. He can raise the dead to oh life, yes. and he can take your troubles and oh transform my. them into blessings. Yes. And I believe that, and I hope you'll believe it too. Because when you do, you'll find that there is a purpose for everything you're facing right now. Mm -hmm. And you never know whose life your story might impact. I want you to be strong and bold in your belief that all things are possible. To you, I want you to understand that uh, those of you who are watching this broadcast, to all of you, I've assembled a powerful collection of resources to build you up and to strengthen your faith. My announcer is coming to tell you all about it, and I'll be right back. Today you witness the power of a miracle through the story of Carla Porter. Medical personnel declared her brain dead and gave her little hope of coming out of her coma. Yet through faith, prayer, and the power of God, Carla recovered, and today is a living testimony of God's grace. God has promised that same supernatural, miracle-working power that healed Carla's body is available to you. Are you ready to tap into it and bring healing to your body, your marriage, and your finances? Your entire life can turn for the better through one simple decision to act right now. Offered exclusively on today's broadcast, Creflo Dollar is offering his powerful teaching collection, Making God's Promise a Visible Reality. This three-part series, available on CD or DVD, will walk you through the type of faith you need to access the anointing for miracles and make God's promise come to pass in your world. If you've ever questioned how to make the supernatural come alive, this series is the answer. You'll discover the keys to taking the promises of God from the pages of the Bible to every area of your life. This exclusive series is being offered today for your gift of just $35 to the work of Creflo Dollar Ministries. Through outreach, humanitarian efforts, and this television broadcast, Creflo Dollar Ministries is helping people all around the world understand the transforming truth of God's grace. 
You could be a part of this global movement with your gift of just $35. And as his way of saying thank you, Creflo Dollar will immediately send you Making God's Promise a Visible Reality to unlock miracles in your life. And as a bonus gift, you'll also receive a DVD of the program you saw today, The Power of a Miracle. You'll definitely want this DVD for your library so you can experience the power of God over and over again and stir your faith for miracles in your life. So that's the series, Making God's Promise of Visible Reality on CD or DVD and a copy of the program you saw today, The Power of a Miracle, for your gift of $35 to help Creflo Dollar empower change around the world. Don't wait. Call now. He's live. God getting ready to turn some things around in your life. Sometimes direct. How many believers do I have in here right now? And always anointed. Creflo Dollar, streaming live from Atlanta and New York City, Saturdays at 6 p.m., Sundays at 10 a.m., and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Stay connected. No matter where you are in the world, Creflo Dollar's just a click away. Catch him live three times a week at CreflodollarMinistries.org. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for you to experience the supernatural results that God has always wanted you to have. I have partnered with some of the most prolific teachers on the planet like Michael Smith, Andrew Womack, Gregory Dickow, Trisha Gunn, and my wife, Taffy Dollar, to help you do just that. So be sure to join us at this year's Grace Life Conference for a time of intense study and meditation in God's Word. This life-changing experience is one that you don't want to miss. For more information and to register, visit CreflodollarMinistries.org and I look forward to seeing you there. This ministry is committed to providing tangible relief to God's precious people. This is only possible because of your faithful support. Every time you call in or give your financial gifts online, you equip us to aid those who have lost everything and share the love of God with them. Thank you for supporting us as we strive to reach a lost and dying world for the Lord Jesus Christ. If you desire to sow into Creflo Dollar Ministries, you can make your financial donations by calling the number on your screen or visiting CreflodollarMinistries.org. Thank you for equipping us to reverse misfortune in people's lives and making it possible to share the glorious gospel of grace all over this world. I really hope you enjoyed today's show. I had a great time visiting with Carla and her sister, Joan, as they brought us such a powerful testimony. Now, we would like to hear from you. Call us or email us with the information on the screen to let us know if you would like to see more shows like this one, and I believe they'll bless your heart. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Changing Your World. Because of you, Creflo Dollar Ministries is providing a new understanding of grace and empowering change in the lives of millions of people every day. Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe.